welcome back to the Bloom Diaries. My name is Raina. And I'm Emily. Today, we're going to be talking about first date ideas. A lot of you guys might be wondering, where should I go on my first date? Or like, what should we do? Obviously, go to a public place. Don't go to his house or don't let them come to your house. Yeah, I think that's a red flag. <laughs> immediately red flag if they're like hey you should come over you know yeah that that's a booty call so no <laughs> so yeah i suggest if you guys like boba i like to meet up at boba shops get boba do a little chit chat and then mm -hmm. after that do like a little activity after in my area we have top golf we had round one so you guys can do like fun little things like going to an arcade after i think it's always good to have a plan because i've gone on a oh, date yeah. where the guy didn't plan anything so we went to get boba and sandwiches and that was it and he was just like yeah that's all i planned for today and I was just like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> I guess we just like leave right there. Having a plan to see like what set times you guys are going to hang out just so that you guys are on the same page. I think that's really important to communicate that. But yeah, if it's like your first date and you don't know what to do, you don't know what to wear, just do your research. <laughs> like mm -hmm. look at the weather, make sure you're comfortable with what you're planning to wear. And a lot of the times there's always like, this thing going around with the guys and the girls where they're like oh what do you want to eat and the girl's like I don't know what to eat so make sure you know like you pick your top three favorite spots to go mm -hmm. eat out because you know mm -hmm. you guys gonna be stuck there in the car not knowing what to do yeah um, yeah so yeah that's just my advice for y'all <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah and if you guys are also wondering like should he come to you like should he come to town or should you go to his town or should you guys meet in the middle i highly recommend meeting in the middle i don't know i think that's just best because you both don't know the area maybe you do or maybe he does like if you guys meet in the middle there like you can take him around like to areas that you already know i highly suggest um searching up on tiktok like what to do in so and so like where like location you guys are going what about skinship like do you guys <laughs> hold hands on the first date <laughs> like how far would you take it on the first date if i've just met that person on that date right mm -hmm. i think i would be okay with holding hands as long as i'm okay with it that's definitely fine with me. I think that's about it. And maybe like a side hug. <laughs> a side hug? Like <laughs> it's not like this hug. It has to be okay. this hug. Because that's just what I'm comfortable with. Um, a lot of girls mm -hmm. give side hugs. Yeah, like someone that you really, really like. Then you'll go more than that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Not that side hug. You'll actually give a full hug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if it's with someone that I'm not that interested in, but I just want to get to know them, I wouldn't even hold their hand, to be honest. I don't think I would. Maybe I'll just like keep my distance because it's just like our first time meeting. But if it was someone that I really, really like, then like I don't mind kissing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't mind kissing or holding hands because I really like this guy. So like. Why not mm. take the chance? Yeah. <laughs> if you think it's okay. <laughs> Have you ever been on any bad dates? You know, because I'm married. <laughs> I've never been on any other dates other than my husband. <laughs> You're one of the lucky ones. Oh my god. I remember after the first time meeting with my husband, I was supposed to go on this date with this other guy. But then I was like, I'm not really feeling you. So like... I was I, I snapchatted him and I was like, oh, um, I can't make it that day, actually. I'm sorry. And then he's like, oh, that's okay. And then after that, I quickly messaged my husband. Hey, do you want to go on a date on this day? <laughs> so I canceled on that guy to go on a date with my husband. So like, I don't think I've ever had any bad date. You've been on a couple dates, right? Yeah. I think there's some that went better than others. Mm -hmm. Just because there were some guys that I've been interested in. And then there's also some dates where I wasn't interested in the guy at all. I think that really does play a role in how much you enjoy the date. For me, it's if he already has everything planned out. That shows how much effort he's willing to put into yeah. it. You know, if you guys start dating. Yeah, I think that's something to consider. 
if it's like your first time meeting and if they ask you if it's okay if they can kiss you or if it's okay they can hold your hand that's a green flag yes because if asking they don't for ask, consent yeah if they don't ask for consent and they just go in it's like they're not respecting your boundaries yeah so definitely always look out for that and watch and just be careful like yeah. please take it from me because i wasn't careful when i first met my husband <laughs> Yeah, I full on trust in him. And I was like, hi, come to my house and pick me up here. And like, you know, but definitely do be very careful. I highly, highly recommend bring any like protecting like tools that you can put on your keychain. A pepper spray. What about like, if you're more introverted, what kind of topics would you try to bring up to converse with the person you're going on a date with? That's a really good question. I don't know because I'm an <laughs> introvert, but then I act like an extrovert. I don't know. I think on a first date, just getting to know each other, maybe asking them what their interests are, like what sports do you mm-hmm. play, what kind of hobbies you have. Mm-hmm. And then maybe the next couple of dates, you can start asking about their values and their family. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, just asking about their experiences, have they traveled, just anything Mm -hmm. that pops up in your mind. Simple questions just to get to know them. What about, like, the person you're going on a date with? They, like, seem like they talk to you a lot, like, through, like, on social media or, like, messages. But then when you meet them in person and you're, like, trying to talk to them, but they're not, like, interacting with you Mm -hmm. that often. They're just kind of like, "Mm, yeah. Yeah, and they're not asking you questions. You're the one asking questions. Mm -hmm. Would you leave or would you stay? I would just leave. Like, if they don't seem interested in me. Yeah, not just straight up and go. That's kind of rude. But then um, just, (laughs) like, excuse myself. (laughs) Just be like, hey, I'm a little busy, you know. Like, uh, I have something coming up. I have to leave. I'm just making up an excuse like that so that you don't Mm -hmm. you don't stay with them any longer and waste your time i've been in this situation like that before online it's well that's why it's good to meet in person too because you kind of get to see how they are um so i was talking to this guy a few months ago and Mm -hmm. he was actually really nice and we hit it off you know just talking Mm -hmm. But then I met him in person and I was like, oh, like he didn't seem like the kind of guy I was talking to online, you know, I had higher expectations from him. And like throughout the date, he was genuinely interested in getting to know me. But then at the same time, it was like his mind was somewhere else. Like I could just feel it. Meeting the person that you're talking to is really good just to get to know them on a deeper level. And yeah, yeah, so that you don't have this like facade of what you think they're actually like, but in reality, they might be a little mm-hmm. bit different. And it's good to see if you guys are compatible or not. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, like, you get really like you get along really well online, but then when you guys meet in person, it's like so off. I've definitely met some guys who are like, they just ask me questions nonstop to the point where it leads to like a personal questions and it gets awkward. And it's like, I don't know what to say. So yeah, just don't be pushy. <laughs> and just respect um, their boundaries. Do you have any tips? For guys, just be yourself. Texting versus meeting in person. You're going to figure out how you really are. You know how girls... They can definitely read you. Just be honest with yourself. And you definitely want them to be honest with you too. Oh, outfit wise. Mm-hmm. Wear something comfortable. I don't think, I mean, you if you want to go all out and be cute, like wearing a cute skirt, a cute dress, like you go girl, you know. But I suggest wearing comfortable clothes. It also depends on like what kind of activity you're doing after. If you guys are, like, going, like, what, (laughs) rock climbing, for example, then I definitely wear outfits that are more suitable and more comfortable to do rock climbing. But if you guys are just going to arcade and stuff, like, you can definitely wear cute stuff. I don't suggest wearing heels unless you're a heels girl Mm -hmm. and it doesn't hurt your feet. If you can handle it, then that's totally cool. 
Yeah, I wouldn't wear clothes that would make you feel uncomfortable throughout the day. Oh my god, have you ever been catfished before? Mm -mm. Oh wait, I don't no? think I have. You've never met anybody online and meeting them in person. You're like, huh, they look different. They don't look like this <laughs> picture. Yeah, I guess you can say so. Because in his picture, he was like all shaved and stuff. And I met him. He had a whole ass beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what would happen if you got catfish? He comes up to you like, hi, are you Reina? You look at him and you're like, who are you and he's like oh i'm so and so and you're like huh <laughs> <laughs> like what would you do i wouldn't just leave immediately um uh -huh. i would give him a chance you know to express himself i feel like if we were able to vibe online i'll give him a chance to vibe in person too oh yeah so nice i think social media is a place where you want to make yourself look presentable too yeah, yeah so i totally get that but if it was like beyond catfish where he looks nothing like his photo <laughs> then yeah i'll probably dip like <laughs> like a picture of like what chungguk on his like dating profile <laughs> yeah just shows up like that's not chungguk. <laughs> it's chungguk from walmart <laughs> <laughs> to be honest i'd leave yeah, you would. If too. they're like, oh, I'm so-and-so. And I'm like, oh, you got the wrong person. I'll start walking to my car. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. What if they lie about their height? Oh, my God. I don't know. That would be kind of embarrassing for them. <laughs> what if they're like, oh, uh, like you ask them like, oh, like, what's your height? And they're like, oh, I'm like six one, And like they show them, they're like, what? <laughs> Five, seven. <laughs> <laughs> I know they want to make themselves look better, but if you're just going to lie about your height to me right off the bat, you're probably going to lie about other things too. Yeah, you're going to be lying to you throughout the whole relationship. Yeah. So <laughs> that already shows off like who you are as a person. So mm -hmm. yeah, guys, don't lie. <laughs> Please don't. That is it for our episode for today's episode make sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts and we hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you guys in our next one bye